Hey folks, uh, this lesson we're going to solve absolute value uh, inequalities uh, algebraically. In the last lesson we did it graphically and so here we're going to solve them algebraically. So here's our a question is uh, what are two ways to solve an absolute value inequality? So we showed the first way in the last lesson graphically and then this one's going to be algebraically and I'm going to include the, uh, the answers uh, to our assignment at the end, to the odds anyway. So solve absolute value inequ uh, inequalities algebraically. Okay, so Here's the rules, you guys. If we have an absolute value greater than some number here, where this number is a positive number, well, it has to be positive because absolute values are always greater than, well, it doesn't have to be, but it's greater than a positive number. Remember, absolute value is always positive, okay? But if it's pointing away from the absolute value, then we answer it like this. It's going to be the inside piece is less than the uh, negative A, or we have to use the or, uh, the inside piece is greater than the positive A, okay? So this side over here, this is the right side. This says this right here without the, without the absolute value. And then this side flips the sign and changes that to a negative A right there. And you got to use the word or, okay? And then if it's uh, pointing towards the absolute value, then you answer it like this. Negative A less than the inside piece less than positive A, okay? The inside piece being X right there. All right, so let's use that. We're going to uh, isolate the absolute value expression as we would in any equation or inequality like we've done in uh, integrated math one, or some people called it algebra one. And then we just follow those rules above. Okay, so here we go. So solve the inequality algebraically and then graph the solution on a number line. Okay, so here's the first one right here. All right, so let's just solve it. Pretend like that's an equal sign right there. And then we take this plus 15 and subtract 15 from both sides and we get that right there okay now we're gonna here's the rules right here so if it's pointing away from the absolute value like this one is here we gotta use the word or and we say the inside piece is less than uh, negative a which is negative 6 or the inside piece is greater than positive 6 okay the inside piece is less than negative 6 so change and change or the inside piece is greater than positive 6 okay all right so here we go we just set it up just like that okay and then here we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these fours minus 4 minus 4 same here, minus 4, minus 4. Okay, so be careful. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. 6 minus 4 is 2. Now this is negative x, so that's like negative 1x. So we got to divide both sides by negative 1. Be careful. When we divide by a negative 1, it's going to flip the inequality. See how it was pointing that way? When we divide an inequality by negative, it flips it. So don't forget that rule. Same on this one. It flipped it back that way right there. Okay, so here's the left side because this is the negative number right here. So x is um, uh, less than negative 2, open circle, going to the left. X is greater than positive 10, so open circle going to the right. So there's the graph answer right there, okay? All right, let's try it with this one right here, okay? So here we're going to go plus 10, plus 10, okay? And then uh, now we have the absolute value less than or equal to 8, okay? So remember, here's the rules. When it's less than or less than or equal to, then we were going to put negative 8 less than that inside piece, which is X plus 4, and then less than or equal to positive 8. This should be less than or equal also. Okay, so here we go. There it is right there. Now we're going to go minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, all three pieces right there. Okay, negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12, and then the 4s cancel here, and then 8 minus 4 is 4. There's the algebra answer, and the graph answer is going to be closed circle on negative 12, closed circle on positive 4, and shaded in between. So closed here, closed here, shaded in between right there. There's the algebra answer, okay? Easy, huh? All right, so instead of in section A, suppose uh, uh, that the inequality were uh, 4 minus, uh, that should be x, Oops, 4 minus x, let's get rid of this uh, minus 1x, I didn't catch that until too late, okay. Um, uh, instead of um, uh, uh, greater than or equal to 14, instead of greater than 21, did I say greater than or equal to, greater than 14 or greater than 21, okay. We'd solve it like we normally would. Uh, we're using, we're solving this one right here, so we'd go minus 15, minus 15, and that's going to get us to uh, 14 minus 15 is negative 1 right there. So we first thing we do is subtract 15 from both sides to get 4 minus x, absolute value greater than negative 1. And then right here, we can stop doing our math right here because 
Well, oh, an absolute value is always greater than a negative number. Remember, absolute value represents positive numbers right here. So when you see absolute value greater than a negative number, that's always true no matter what x is right there. So we can stop right there and say the answer is all real numbers. All right, let me change this right here before I click it. i got to do it on the next one also. I send these to other teachers in my district, so I want to have them all cleared up. All right, so in section B, suppose the inequality were... Um, less than or equal to negative 11 instead of less than or equal to negative 2. Okay, so how would that change the solution? So first thing we do is go uh, plus 10 here, plus 10 here, negative 11 plus 10 is negative 1 right here. And again, right here we can stop because we have an absolute value less than or equal to a negative number. Remember, absolute value is always positive. It'll never be less than a negative number right there. So that's never going to be true. So the answer to that guy is no solution right there. All right, let me change that and then we'll move along here. Sorry about that. All right, so let's solve this inequality and then grab the solution on the number line. Okay, so here we have a number in front of this absolute value. So we've got to get rid of this number. This says 3 times the absolute value, so we've got to divide both sides by 3, okay? And 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now we use the rules before. If it's greater than, then we use the OR statement right there. So we're going to use this OR statement. So we're going to say that x minus 7 is less than negative 3 or x minus 7 is greater than positive 3. I'm just using this x minus 7 and this 3 right here. Okay, here it is right there. All right, so now I'm going to go plus 7 plus 7. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Plus 7 plus 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. So x is less than or equal to uh, 4. Or it's greater than or equal to 10. So close circle on 4, shaded to the left. Close circle on 10, shaded to the right. The inequality tells you which way to shade as long as x is on the left. Okay, so there's the graph answer right there. All right, let's try another one here. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead. There's nothing in front, so we can just do the absolute value. We're going to set it up just like this. So negative 5. Uh, less than the inside stuff, 2x plus 3, less than positive 5. Okay, so there it is right there. And we're going to get rid of this 3. So minus 3, minus 3, minus 3 right there. And then we're going to divide everything by 2. So when we divide by 2, there's our algebra answer. Open circle on negative 4, open circle on positive 1, and shaded in between the two right there. Okay. All right, so describe the values of x that satisfy the inequality. Uh, absolute value of x is less than a, and the absolute value of x is greater than a, where a is a positive number. Okay, so, so for when it's less than a, then the solutions are all the x values that are between negative a and positive a. And when it's greater than, just think of absolute value as distance away from zero. So when the absolute value is greater than a number, then it's all solutions that are beyond negative a and positive a. So that would be to the left of negative a and to the right of positive a, okay? To the left would be represented as uh, less than negative a and to the right would be greater than. So how do we algebraically solve an absolute value inequality? Well, we solve it just like we would an equation or an inequality. And then so isolate the absolute value expression and then rewrite the inequality as a compound inequality that uses the and or the or statement. Okay, and then, uh, then we just finish and solve it right there. All right, the last one, explain uh, why the solution of uh, absolute value of a number is greater than a is all real numbers if a is a negative number. Well, remember, absolute value represents positive stuff. So if the absolute value of any number is always non-negative, which means it's always greater than any negative number, so all real numbers would satisfy that right there. All right, hope that makes sense, you guys. If you're on our class, that would be your assignment. And then here's your answers to that right there. All right, you guys, take care.